Frankie from ADO and today we're going to be taking a look at the new Bode Grand Piano. This is my first walkthrough with ADO so I'm really excited to be showcasing this new library. This update to the original library has some awesome new content as well as a completely redesigned user interface and all previous owners can upgrade at a discounted price. The library focuses on the more non-conventional sounds of the piano, mainly on the bowing of the strings, but also contains a large number of other cool effects like string glissandos, nail scrapes and even percussive effects such as knocks and taps. It also contains some really great ambiences and drones that will add atmosphere to any composition. I'll now give you an overview of the user interface and then take you through the content so you can get a feel for how the library sounds. First up, when you load in a sample, all the variations appear at the top here. In this example I've loaded in the bonus drones, so if we just play a couple... And then you can actually layer multiple drones on top of one another with the stack button. And you can adjust the volume accordingly to achieve your desired sound. And then to reset this, simply click the stack button again. A and B correspond to the selected drones above. So I'm just going to add in a B there. And these parameters can be used to alter your A and B sounds. Or you can be totally haphazard and randomise these parameters using this cheeky little button. You can adjust the effects down here as well. Let's have a bit of an experiment and see what we can come up with. So already I'm randomising stuff and getting some really interesting textures. And of course you can right click on any of these parameters to assign them to your CC. You can also use this neat little feature to create rhythmic pulses. So you can do this manually, just throw some random shapes in there. Or you can go completely nuts and use the randomise function again. You can also adjust the timing of the pulse. And if that's not enough, you can also morph between multiple drones using this cool feature. So as you can see, you can create countless possible variations of sound using this interface. This library is divided into four sections. The main section with the Bode Grand Piano, the effects which contains the scrapes, knocks and glissandos, and then the bonus drones which we touched on just now. And then there's a folder of some really cool presets that I'll take you through too. So the star of the show is the Bode Grand Piano. Now whether this is used as a melody or a drone to underscore your piece, this non-traditional sound of the piano can really add something different to your music. So let's check it out.
So that was the bowed piano in its raw form. Let's just have a play with the effects. There's also the option to select staccato. So again, there's lots of potential there with both the raw sound and the ability to manipulate it with effects. Speaking of effects, next up I'm going to take a look at the glissandos, knocks and scrapes. You can flip between these different effects using the key switches below. Easy as pie. So let's check out some of these effects. is epic. Well, that one almost sounded like a harp. And now on to the knocks. And finally, the scrapes. So there's some really cool stuff in this section, from the delicate harp-like glissandos to the chilling scrapes, which are perfect for any horror score. I'm now going to take a closer look at the bonus drones. And I'm just using my mod wheel here to change the sound slightly.
And finally, let's have a look at some of the presets. Dancing Night, Funky. scary stuff. As you can see there is an epic amount of content packed into this library and so much scope for potential with the new user interface. I really hope you've enjoyed this walkthrough, it's been an absolute pleasure taking you through this library. For further information on the Bode Grand Piano please visit 8 Thank you for watching. <laughs>